Guys, I lost an old friend this morning. Uh, I used to climb this cherry tree for sweet, sweet fruit in the morning. Uh, I had to take it, and uh, now I want to plant where the stump is, so I'm going to pull the stump. Uh, I thought I'd run the cameras and show you one of my um, mechanical advantage rigging setups. It's 35 to 1, three attachments to the stump, a chain in a basket, and a rigging sling in a choker. A big double snatch block, um, a pair of eight ton snatch blocks, again on a rigging basket, and that five to one is being pulled by a six shiv block and tackle. Um, that's a, a seven to one arrangement here, tied to a tree down there, and uh, the trailer is here as a safety. We're going to uh, crank up and pull it out. stump is coming right out. But let me show you something I've screwed up on. I should have put a choking hold on this tree here. Look what I've done. The uh, rigging sling has pulled the bark right off the tree. It's still holding and the tree is a hardwood so it's not going anywhere. But I'm going to break this down and reset this as a choking sling lower and, um, and then finish the pull. Okay, I've reset the rig. I really made a mess out of the, um, out of the bark on my anchor tree here. But you can see I've reset the, the uh, sling to a choking configuration. There's a damage to the bark, and since the worst of the pulling is behind me now, uh, I dropped a, a loop off of the, um, uh, the six sheath uh, block and tackle, and I'm now pulling in this direction with a six to one mechanical advantage, not a seven to one, but that's going to be uh, plenty to, uh, to do the rest of this. You can see it's, uh, it's lifting out without... Uh, without much of a fight. All right, let's finish it off.
So this is what I should have done in the first place. That's holding nicely. so I'll have to reset one more time to uh, get it out. I think you've seen what there is to see here, so um, I'm going to just shut down the rest of the, uh, the cameras for the rest of this. Guys, the stump is history. I've got it out of the ground and loaded on the trailer this morning. We're headed for the dump. It fractured along its natural crotch. That's why you see two big pieces in there. But everything came out pretty easily. I did have to cut those two big uh, tap roots that you saw, not to get them out of the ground, but to uh, load them into the trailer in some reasonable way. The other thing that surprised me different than the pine stumps I've done is that the cherry snapped off a couple of dozen smaller roots sticking up out of the planting bed. So I had to grub each one individually. I used the brush grubber and it wasn't particularly difficult but there were enough of them that it was definitely annoying. The, um, the only other thing I might say is next spring I'll be selling my place um, on seacoast New Hampshire and moving to warmer climates and I won't be needing this heavy rigging equipment. So if you've seen any components that uh, you have an interest in, drop me an email and when the time comes, I'll, uh, I'll contact you and we can talk. Thanks for watching.